I'm already at my wits end and I've literally only just walked in here. Today, I don't really know what to do. I'm hoping that my memory will last out. I've spent the whole morning on my computer trying to clear some of my memory because in my last video, I ran out of memory and I'm really sorry about that. One day I'll be a lot more organized and I won't be running out of memory. So I'm not gonna ramble on for too long. I I think I'm gonna try and declutter my wardrobe again today. Even though my husband was in here with me during that decluttering session, if you're interested in watching my first attempt at decluttering my wardrobe, which was a complete fail, I will link the video up here so that you can watch it up here. I always point in the wrong direction because I get confused, but somewhere up here, I will link the video if you want to watch it. He was trying to be helpful. Does it look good this way? Does it look good this way? Or how about this way? <laughs> no or ways. How about this way? Does it make my bum look big? Yes. Oh. Get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> he ended up putting away pretty much most of the things that I wanted to get rid of. He ended up putting back in my wardrobe, which is not helpful. <laughs> so. I'm gonna have to go through it all again and I'm thinking I might do that today because the wardrobe is so bad. I'm not sure how much energy I've got because I've literally only rested for like two days in a row and I don't feel like fully recovered from the last time I decluttered. I'm gonna try my best to pull out some things from the wardrobe. I'm probably not going to be able to go through everything and I'm probably not going to take everything out like I did last time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a bin bag I'm going to put all of the things that I want to send to charity in a bin bag then all of the stuff I want to sell I'm probably just going to bung in a box somewhere until I can sell it take photos of it and then stuff that I need to try on I'm gonna take out of the wardrobe and stuff that I know fits me and that I love I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep in the wardrobe so I'm not gonna take literally everything out like I did last time because I don't want to run out of energy and end up with mess everywhere when I'm trying to sort this room out at the same time I've got to find somewhere to put you guys again as well which is the difficult part oh yeah the stuff on the bed is there's like DVDs here from my last decluttering video that I am going to take photos of and put up for sale but I haven't had time yet to take the photos and upload them. This is a box that I'm giving away for free. It's just full of like craft stuff that I haven't used so that will be going away for free at some point. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. My wardrobe is here. lady said she was going to message me in a minute about something that I'm selling so I'm just going to quickly check that message back. There's a lot of things that I need to try on. A lot of my clothes are clothes that I had pre-pregnancy and sorry I'm talking really quiet because next to the sleep in the room next door. I don't think realistically that a lot of it fits me. I do need to try them all on. Whether I'm gonna have the energy to try them all on today, I do not know, I probably won't. So I'm making a few piles of like things that I need to try on. Like there are some things that I do like, but if they don't fit me, then I'm gonna get rid of them because there's just no point in keeping them. And realistically, I'm probably not gonna lose weight and I'm probably not gonna lose weight very quickly because I have ME and I can't really do any exercise so trying to be really really realistic and 
I also do need to get rid of a lot of things. If it doesn't fit me, then I think I'm just gonna have to come to terms with the fact that it doesn't fit me and it needs to go. Going through my wardrobe now and I'm like, mm, I could probably live without this. And I think if I feel that way about it, then I should probably just get rid of it, right? Part of me is like, I do wear this. Like there's a couple of vest tops down there that I do wear because they're like the only vest tops I have. And I do wear them and they are okay, but I don't love them. I just wear them because it's the only thing that I've got in my wardrobe to wear, I suppose, that actually fits. So I don't know, in that situation, what do people do? Do you just get rid of the things that you think to yourself, yeah, I could easily live without this, even if you use it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you do, because most of this is probably just gonna sit in piles for a week or so anyway. I think I just need to bite the bullet and get rid of stuff. I just need to bite the bullet and get rid of stuff and if I'm left with barely anything then I'll just have to go buy more. But that's the part that I don't like because I don't have a lot of money and I don't really want to buy more. So I'm trying to be realistic. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to put them in piles and see if I can live without this stuff in my wardrobe maybe. I don't, I don't know what to do. Now I need to check what time it is to see if Dexter needs waking up. Okay, he's got about seven minutes left of his nap time, so I'm gonna sit down here for a second and see if I can put some of these things away that I know I'm definitely keeping. So these, these I can probably, they can go on the live without pile. <laughs> that can go on the live without pile. I have a lot of lounge clothes. I mean, I totally get why, because obviously I don't really go anywhere, but I also have a lot of socks and pants. Nobody needs this many socks and pants. So I need to go through all of those, and I need to go through all of these drawers because I need to make room for Ben's clothes. This cupboard is like full of crap as well, because have nowhere to put anything. So these are like loungy clothes that I know that I want to keep really. This basket goes in the bathroom but our bathroom cabinet broke the other day and so I have nowhere to put it so now it's ended up in here because it's full of things that Dexter really shouldn't have access to. Nowhere to put it. It's gonna have to so much happier once we get to move, if ever that happens. I'm gonna have to put this up high somewhere. These, these are maternity leggings, but I still wear them because they're more comfortable on my stomach at the moment. I need to go shopping for some leggings that actually fit me and feel comfortable. Currently I'm just wearing maternity leggings and I don't have any leggings that are not maternity. <laughs> The joy of having a C-section and nothing's comfortable anymore. So I don't want like loungy slobby clothes. I want some clothes that I actually look okay in. And I've got a lot of loungy slobby clothes because I literally don't go anywhere. And like no actual clothes that I look nice in. These are buttons, so I'm probably gonna give them back to him see loads of leggings but none of them are comfortable. Not one single pair of these leggings are comfortable, not even the maternity ones to be honest. Probably need to try on a lot of these and if they are tight or whatever I probably just need to get rid of them when I'm comfortable and just buy a pair that are comfortable. It's like really hard to talk about but I want to be really open and honest on my channel because I want to be real. And so before I was pregnant, I was like a size eight to 10. And 
after pregnancy I'm now like a size 16 so it's hard and I know like most women will understand like it's hard to accept your body after pregnancy but it's something that I'm working on but I go into shops to look for size 16 leggings and I just cannot find any size 16 leggings because size 12 to 14 are far too tight around my belly they really really hurt they hurt my c-section I've got a lot of scar tissue that I need to work on and it just it it's really uncomfortable and it really hurts so but every time I go to the shop to try and look for a size that is comfortable and try it on and make sure that it is comfortable before I buy it they don't actually have that size so it must be a pretty popular size because I just cannot find anything and I know if I get a size 18 it'll probably be far too big but a size 14 is just too tight and yeah so realistically I probably need to save up some money and go on a proper shopping trip where I can properly try on clothes and make sure that I do like them and that they do feel comfortable before I buy them because I don't want items of clothing in my wardrobe that are too small, too big, uncomfortable, static. I hate static clothes, which is why I've took most of those jumpers out of this wardrobe because they're all really static and I just can't be doing with it. So yeah, I just need to actually have some money to go shopping and buy myself some new clothes but I need to make conscious purchases as well at the moment I've got far too many clothes far too many things are like every everything's everywhere and I just want to get rid of a load of stuff before I start putting more stuff in here I'm trying to do a little bit every day but it's hard when you've got Emmy because the past couple of days I've had no choice but to rest on the sofa I've just had literally no energy whatsoever and today I've got a rotten headache right now it just takes me a lot longer like I feel like it's going to take me a lot longer because I just don't have the energy but I want to get it sorted like as soon as possible because, 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 hello, sweetheart, <laughs> did you have a nice nap? Mummy is in a bit of a mess. I'm making a mess, Dexter. I'm not doing very well, to be honest, because realistically, I'm never going to wear a, a swimming costume or a bikini ever again, am I? I know I'm making a mess but the thing is this is the only way I'm going to be able to get rid of stuff because I need to try stuff on before I put it in a bag and decide whether it's going or not. I would love to be able to just simplify my wardrobe, like massively simplify it but I just don't know how or where to start. And I'm so bad at getting rid of things. <laughs> Bobby, see I love this bikini before I was pregnant. I love this bikini, it's an animal one. I probably will never ever ever wear it again. I don't think my boobs would even fit in this anymore. <laughs> I'm showing nip probably. Because what size is this? Size 10 I think. You can't fit your size 16 butt in a size 10 bikini. I will never ever ever get back in this. I would have to not eat ever again to get back in this. <laughs> this is how small I was when before I had a baby. Oh my god, I love this bikini. What? But I can't wear a bikini that's too small, so it needs to go. I need to make a list of things I think that I need in my wardrobe, just basic things like leggings and bras. I don't want bras though, I feel like a sports thing or something. Just a little bit of nipple coverage and be done with it. <laughs> Goodbye bikini that I barely ever worn anyway probably only worn it twice. Doesn't fit me anymore, Dex. Doesn't fit me anymore. Oh, 
God, Mummy's that? <laughs> this probably won't fit me anymore either. And this is a Lord of the Rings bikini. Another Lord of the Rings bikini. Lord of the Rings bikini. This won't fit me, I don't think. Let's try it on, but what size is this? Does it say? I don't know. I suppose I could try it on over my clothes. <laughs> and give you all a laugh. I don't need 50 billion pairs of socks, but I'm definitely keeping these ones. Newton Faulkner socks. <laughs> if anyone knows who Newton Faulkner is. Right, I'm going to get rid of some old socks because I've got loads and loads and loads and loads of socks. Loads and loads and loads and loads of socks. Loads and loads and loads and loads of socks. See, I prefer these type of, like, things, but not with the... Outside. Oh, she's outside, Ben. Two seconds. I just got to sell Ted. Oh, okay. Some lady came to pick up something that I was selling. And so I decided to have a little break and eat some ice cream as you do. To give me the energy to start again. I do like these welly socks. I think they've got a hole in there and they're really old of getting rid of like old socks because they feel really tatty on your feet don't they so i might send them to a recycling i might recycle them i think two pairs of long socks over the knee socks will do so if i come across any more i'm gonna just get rid of them There's something so hard to get rid of like Cares about socks. I'm gonna put these in properly, the Marie Kondo way. Believe it or not, this is a pair. <laughs> Can't remember how Marie Kondo folds these. Let's see if I can remember how. Honestly, why have I got so many pairs of socks? I don't even like socks. is because I think about the planet a lot and might the impact that all of this like getting rid of all of this stuff is gonna have and so I'm trying to be realistic but at the same time I'm just struggling I think that's how she falls um, I'm just struggling because I think of the impact and then I look at things and I'm like mm, they've still got somewhere out of them so I probably keep them but we do have a, a recycling, um, we're very lucky and have a recycling centre where I live so I can put like fabric items and stuff and send them to the recycling centre so that's what I'm going to do with the old socks. I'm going to send them to a recycling centre. Hello Dexter! Mummy's being strict with herself and saying I can't keep old tatty socks like these even though I do wear them. Because they're really old and tatty and I just need to get them. Oh, we're matching! How you doing? How you doing? Friend socks. Missing a friend's sock. Is it? I'd rather be watching Friends. Yeah, but the clothes horse has been taken down, hasn't it? So, missing a friend's sock, and I need to find it because I not long bought those socks, so they are fairly new. I've got to get into the habit of not buying unless I actually need it. So if this sock and pants thing goes drastically down, only then am I allowed to buy socks pants. I know they say get rid of socks that don't have pairs, but let me see if I can come across the pants of probably the wash somewhere. Everybody 
everybody loves fluffy socks, right? Probably don't need this many pairs. Got one, two, three, four pairs of fluffy five pairs, I think, actually. Get rid of these old ones because I, these ones are new and they're still quite nice and fluffy. <laughs> so I keep these ones. That one needs a pair. I have got the other sock, I just don't know where it is right now. more socks and this one definitely needs to go through this i like who needs this many pants nobody nobody i did go through these actually i went through these in my last there's a christmas sock so i think i'm gonna put the christmas socks so i think i'm gonna put them in the christmas box i did go through these pants basically but uh then came along and put them back in <laughs> not helpful. Since I had a baby and had a c-section I now have to wear granny pants so I'm only going to keep pants that I find comfortable that go over my c-section scarf because if there's one thing I cannot stand it's anything rubbing my c-section scarf so if they're not over the belly they're not like waist high pants then they need to go. Surely nobody needs more than 14 pounds of pants. Just realised you can't even really see what I'm doing, but I don't see my knickers anyway, do you? How have I ended up with so much underwear? Everything hurts, everything hurts. Half of my problem is that I don't like to throw things away because I, I think about the planet <laughs> too much. So then I end up holding on to things that I don't need. When realistically, I should probably just get rid. I literally feel like I'm gonna pass out and I'm not even, I've got a whole, I've got another drawer yet to go. Or is that your drawer? Has that got your stuff in? Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was looking at that thinking, surely not another draw. <laughs> no, that's fine. <sighs> thank God for that. Guys, I'm exhausted. <sighs> Decluttering is exhausting and overwhelming and... Go sniff some peppermint. I've got a rotten headache. Honestly, this helps. I'm just gonna put a dot on me. These are some little samples that my mum, mum gave me from doTERRA. <laughs> so cute. Hopefully, that will help with my headache. Overdoing it as usual. Okay. So, excuse the state of my the inside of my wardrobe because there's other stuff in there as well, but I'm just gonna show you what I've done so far. I'm in a bit of a mess, really. So these are all the clothes that I know I wanna keep. I've tried to sort them in color order, but I just don't think there's any way of making my wardrobe look better because it is quite colorful. 
decluttered my pants. I've still got quite a lot of pants. Nobody needs that many pants, but yeah. Um, all down there, the ones that I'm getting rid of, that whole pile there I'm getting rid of. Socks, again, I've still got quite a lot of socks. This one's bed socks and stuff, and this one's like day socks. And again, there's some socks in there that I'm gonna get rid of too. And then these clothes are ones that I still need to sort through and put back in the wardrobe or get rid of. There's a few mismatched socks here that I need to find a pair for, and if I can't, they're gonna go. I need, this is just stuff that I need to hang up. This I need to put in the Christmas box. This is pajamas that I need to put back in here somewhere. Hopefully I'm getting somewhere. And then I've got, a, oh, I forgot to show you, but I've got a massive pile of clothes on the bed that are stuff that I need to try on. And I've got a bin bag down here with some stuff for charity. So I am getting rid of some stuff. So it's quite good for me. Um, I do need to sit and sort out all of these clothes on the floor. I need to try on so some of those might be going as well and all of these bras down here I need to draw on it try on as well I don't know how I've ended up with so many bras because before I was pregnant I didn't wear bras at all and then I got pregnant and I started wearing bras when I was breastfeeding because obviously leakage you've got to do something about your leakage and so I've ended up with like loads of bras again I don't even that many bras like really like I think you only need like two or three none of them are comfortable and I don't think any of them fit me so I'm gonna keep maybe a couple of them until I can find some that are a bit more comfortable and fit me because you know after a baby boots kind of sag and you probably need them a bit more but I'd rather not wear one at all but I do need some nip coverage <laughs> I've also got some clothes over there hanging on the door that I need to sort out and go through. Just haven't got the bloody energy. But some things can go in here now, which is good. Because I've made a little bit of room. I have Dex to come back and he's gonna see what we've done in her presents now. I won't remember surely. I'm just trying to put this here and hide them a little bit. I don't want him to see it and want want to play with it because obviously it's for his birthday. And just put the pillow, edge pillow on top. You can still kind of see them, but if anyone's interested, I might do a video on uh, what I've got him for his birthday actually. So let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a video on what I've got him. He'll be turning two in May, and the majority of the stuff. I've got him a like educational thing and Montessori aligned so let me know if you want me to do a video on what I have got him for his birthday and I shall do one. This is looking way better, I'd love it if this was the only stuff in my wardrobe but it's obviously not going to be because there is other stuff I want to keep. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Honestly, I'm just so sick of feeling like this because I want to get stuff done and I can't. It's, it's depressing, is what it is. I've got to think because I don't know where I'm going to put most of this stuff now. The annoying thing about having the drawers in here as well is that I've, my hanging clothes, like my dresses and stuff, can't actually hang. sit down and try and do this <sighs> again got nowhere to put you though nowhere <laughs> I don't even think you can see what I'm doing so much better when I've decluttered and moved house I think as well I'll probably end up doing another wardrobe declutter video because I think I'm gonna try and come in here and make this a regular occurrence because I just want to simplify everything in my life to be honest I think it'd be so much easier it'd be so much easier to manage my ME as well as everything else so honestly I feel like this flat literally is made for minimalists like proper minimalists or one person to live in
honestly I could easily live without a lot of this stuff easily I feel like most of the time when I do come in here to try and declutter my wardrobe I'm basically just trying to organize and put everything back I mean a lot of this stuff I do actually wear it's not it's not stuff that I don't wear and I mean if I don't end up wearing it then I'll get rid of it well this one I need to try on because I don't think it fits me I mean, there's no point me hanging leggings up so for now I can either put my leggings on the top of here most of these bloody leggings don't fit me but I live in leggings so I just wear tight leggings or maternity leggings all the time so I need to go to the shop and get myself a few decent pairs of leggings that's what I need to do I'm going to hang up these clothes and the rest of these. I'm going to try and put these um, pyjamas away so that I'm at least slightly clearer and then I'm probably going to have to give up for today because I'm really starting to feel it. What I need you to do is not put away anything that I've taken out, please, please. You got it. I can't keep doing that. I can't keep doing the same thing when I've got more stuff to do in the flat. Oh, Mr. Grabby! Oh, he's Hidden <laughs> under all of the clothes. He's having a nap. <laughs> My faithful friend. <laughs> oh my god. Well, he is my faithful friend. He helps me. Ow! I'm absolutely exhausted. And I've actually made this room worse than it was before. Now there's like a whole pile of clothes here that I need to try on. But is what it is so i think that's pretty much it for this video i will probably let you know what i'm getting rid of out of my clothes when i finally get around to trying them on but i can't do that today because i haven't got the energy i'll see you in the next one i guess <laughs> thanks for watching bye